Ah, oh, welcome back. It has been a fantastic, jam-packed morning thus far. Let's keep those feel-good vibes going. Now, yeah, we've been crying about a cold winter, but there is that big kid in us that loves the idea of snow, especially in South Africa, where it is a little bit unpredictable, but it does actually fall in South Africa's winters. Um, and there are some places where you can even ski. I know you're keen on, on skiing very, or very snowboarding. So. There are yeah. a couple of spots that you can do that. We've picked four of the best, in fact. Exactly. And one of them is actually uh, in the Matrusberg mountain region in the Western Cape, which is about 35 kilometers uh, from Sirius. And I didn't know this, it's the second highest uh, peak, the Matrusberg, the second highest peak uh, in the province and home to the Ski Club of South Africa. So definitely making my plans to go there. And uh, the, the peak falls within the Matrusberg Private Nature Reserve and it's accessible by 4x4 as well. So you can also have a chance to just explore beautiful nature while enjoying the snow there. Yeah, and as you said, snow currently falling on, on that area right now. Then we've got Cathedral yeah. Peak, I've been there. It is freezing, but it is something to behold. You're feeling active and find the idea of hiking through the snow appealing. The this part of the Drakensberg is definitely for you. The weather here tends to be more stable during winter, and after a snowstorm, conditions can become bright and clear for days. Yeah. In good weather, Cathedral Peak can be summited in just one day, and although snowfall can make some areas a little bit treacherous, you do definitely need a guide. Experienced hikers should have no difficulty whatsoever, but it is spectacular. It's one of our greatest landmarks, yeah. I think. Well, if you dream of having beautiful snow-covered fields that are just un you know untrodden, undisturbed, then you might oh. want to <laughs> go to the Golden Gate. <laughs> National uh, Park there because there they have the rest camp which is visited by very few visitors during um, the year so an opportunity for you to kind of enjoy it in isolation mm. if you will but just be careful of the yetis in the snow. <laughs> no, I'm joking we don't have the those in South snowman. <laughs> uh, well maybe you'll spot him at the Underberg and Sani Pass that's nice and close here while it's not guaranteed every year the quaint southern Drakensberg villages of Underberg and Himmerville if I'm saying that right are great base camps for four by four trips up the Sani Pass where winter snow is more or less pretty much assured yeah. so if you've got the vehicle and you've got the chops for adventure go out there and experience some snow i just want to snowboard i don't want an epic fail like those people we saw in those videos <laughs> so, but make sure that you get outdoors and enjoy south africa's winter treats and special of course uh collect avios during your travels by staying at a protea hotel renting a vehicle with avis grocery shopping or even fueling up at bp on your journey there's uh, i think it, there's so many different ways in which you can collect avios and once you've had it you've collected enough you can then redeem them on flights locally and internationally especially suited when you are planning your next holidays. Mm, and you can have an adventure along the way, that's the best part. Now, if ever there was a vegetable, and I hope it is actually a vegetable, <laughs> suited for winter, it has to be the parsnip. Is that okay? a vegetable? What is uh, a parsnip? Uh, it sounds like a root. Maybe Zola can tell us now. Ah. It's time to head into the kitchen. <laughs>